Okay, here's the unboxing of the camera. Comes with foam. Instruction manual. Plug to plug into an outlet. Connector. Cable. It's either five, six, or seven. Throw away. Comes with nails. Here's the camera. Here's where you attach the antenna that it comes with. So here's the antenna. And the course of bends. Here's where you attach the Cat 567 cable, reset button, connector for the power. And that is the camera. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is uh, download the app, which is uh, in the instruction manual, the iOS and Android. And it is the MI PC, which is located right here. And once you download it, you log in. Now, you go one to um, the top left. There's a plus sign. And at the bottom of the camera, there's a, a code. And just scan for the code. Now, after you scan for the code, it's going to ask you to add it. Now, you have two choices. You could pick, you could land connection, which is uh, Cat 5, 6, 7 cable, or wirelessly. And so you just pick wires, wireless if you want. Okay, and then the next screen it just tells you to press the reset button for one second and hold it, and then let go. And the reset button is actually located right here. So I'm just going to press it for one second. And then form sheet press next. Okay, once the configuration is complete. It'll inform you con configuration successful. It'll give you the add. And then you want to input password for your camera. Now pretty much um uh, pretty much uh once it's done with the password. You get to pick a, and so if you want to go to US, just scroll up, and you'll see, let's see, Eastern, right there, just press apply. Now when it's scanning the the camera it doesn't make a noise when you do the reset so and it takes like a minute but after you're done with that picking the Eastern or wherever you are press OK and so now your camera is actually on there the cameras right here okay so once you're in it you just press the camera and there's a new version 
So you just press upgrade, press OK. Now it'll start over. And this software has a tendency to have a lot of upgrades at least once or twice a month. They're always uh, implementing new things. And so. And right now it's red. It's just restarting. Okay, so it's back online. And it turns green. Here's where you can add another device. Here's where the resolution you can change to smooth, standard, HD, account admin, password, account guest password, add device, my folder, and settings. Settings. You have different sound, vibration, notification, ring, software version, clear cache. And then there's, uh, once you click in it, In the top left, you have sound, which you turn off and on. Record. Snapshot, recording. And this allows you to do the mode, which is auto, day, night, brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, and resolution. At the bottom, you have live record settings. Here's where all your recording would be. I'll show, I just installed it so the recording is not on there. But that's how the recording looks. And you just pick one. Then there's settings, about, nickname, that's where you want to go to name your uh, your camera. And so, like this one I would call outside. And you notice that it renamed it outside. Go back into settings. Device, admin password, device, guest password, network, then OSD. Adjust the date time, time format, 24 hours or 12. Display day. SD card. Storage device, enable, motion notification, motion attention, snapshot record and put so you can see all the information. Alarm, enabled, snapshot record, IO out. Schedule alerting. You set different times and days. Schedule recording. Same thing, different time and days, 24 hours. Day time. System others and delete device here's the others speaker volume mic flip and you go want to do power frequency of 60 if you're in the u.s because that's a u.s standard and that is pretty much the app okay this is the MIPC on the PC. It's okay right here. 
And so the first thing you know is that I have all the cameras here. And this is the actual camera that we're looking at right now. Here's the live play, record. You can record your own uh, like video, snapshot. Here's uh, if you want to talk to someone if they're there. This um, camera doesn't allow that. Here's sound. It does record sound. Here's to add device, refresh. Here's brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, mode on top right. And auto, flip off, uh, 60 hertz. Here you could turn it. Here's small, half, normal, HD, password, guest password, options, exit, and about. Option, you could uh, show the download path, which it's uh, currently at the C drive. So if you have an SD card or a SSSD solid state drive card you, or drive, hard drive, you might want to switch it so you're not recording all the time and saving plugins. Low plugin, do not load plugin automatic. Here's where the playback will be located. Here's how the playback looks on my other camera. And settings, you have nickname, and about pretty much model firmware, plugin version, device ID, nickname, and password is password, network OSD. SD card, storage device, motion sensitivity, and storage device you can always turn on, device ID, password, network status, motion tension, schedule alerting, and here you can schedule all of them, begin time, end time, week, you know, days, schedule recording, same thing, date, time, date, time, time zone, all sync time server, system, and others. Others, you could do the speaker, mic. So, here, let's look at the video quality. And I'll turn on the light. And that's me sideways because I don't, I don't have it hooked up to the wall. But as you can tell, that's really good video quality. A very low lag. And I'm sure the sound quality is great. But Let's see if we can pinpoint and see a small object. There's the light switch. You can see the nails. It has great resolution. Turn off the light. You can see the night. Same thing. You can see the nail. You can see the the detail very well. It's extremely good uh, video resolution.